Hi guys, it's your girl A. Marie from A. Marie Full Lace Wigs. Guys, I got two projects in one. Whoop, just dropped it. I am working on Curlin's Deep Wave Wig. So, I started on your wig last night. I got a little bit done. So, Carolyn, this is your Deep Wave, your 1B um, hair. So, I started on, like I said, the waves will come back more when I wash it and condition it. So, I started on yours. And, guys, just so everybody know, like, when I ask you guys to secure, like, when your name is coming up, and I ask you guys to secure that deposit, that deposit is very important. If you do not secure that deposit, what happens is that it just goes to the next person on the list and then you'll wind up waiting longer. So when I get to you and say, okay, I'll be starting on your wig in September, now it's time to make the deposit. You have to get that deposit in ASAP because the next thing happened, I just go down to the next person on the list. Now this is Miss Kathy wig. This is the um, her 613 and her uh, is a 24. Now what I noticed with the 613 and the 24... I can almost visibly see the knots when I hand tied into the base. So what I did, I mixed up some bleaching powder, some BW2, and I used 20 cent developer, 20% developer. And what I'm more concerned about is the front. So. I'm going to work this in, guys, and get it done and try to move as quick as possible. So I'm more concerned about the front. And I got it like a pace, guys. I got it like a pace because I, I just don't like the fact that when you, when you look at it, you can see those knots, like, visibly. And it don't really happen in black hair. Let me look at my time. It's 8.54. So I don't like the fact that when you look at it, you can visibly see them not not a good thing so normally i don't do a lot of bleaching to my black hair because it just kind of blends right down in there but this blonde it just seemed like the knots is just sitting on top and saying hello so in a case like this i will but guys this is that pure remy hair so this stuff turns fast so you got to work fast I also seal the knots really good to keep it from shedding. And the most thing I'm thinking about that's real important is the front. You know, if she part her hair in the back, that's fine. But I'm more concerned about the knots in the front, the hairline, the parting, all throughout the front. I'm not even going to worry about bleaching the, uh, the scratch panel or the back. That's not a concern. I'm more concerned about the hairline and, you know, the front piece of this unit. That's what my concern is. Everything else, it really doesn't matter. So I'm trying to move as quick as quick as possible. And I got it on like a pace, guys. It's not like a um a runny liquid. I got it on like a pace. It's on like a pace. So like I said, I'm real concerned about the front piece. And like I said, the cap is in three pieces. This is my main, main concern. When I look at it, I just feel like the knots are visible to the eye. And I was using a smaller needle, but it's just based off the bright, bright color in the base. That's just going to happen. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do about that. I'm going to have to bleach the knots. And then you got to think this is already a bleached color, so you don't want to get it to the point where it's bleached out. So I'm blending 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 and I'm probably not going to go past 10 minutes with this guys because I don't want it to have it to the point where it is bleached out so it's two projects that I'm working on so this is the only time I really be concerned about the bleaching of the knots the black do not react like this is more or less the front, but if you guys can see, I put it on like a pace. It's put on like a pace. So I'm watching, watching, watching. So, like I say, my goal is this weekend, Kathy, to have your unit mailed out to you. 
this coming weekend. So, like I said, I will send you the invoice for the remaining balance of your unit. So, like I said, I'm bleaching the knots in the front because I just don't like how the fact that, you know, especially I'm using a lot of dark mannequins. I don't have a lot of, you know, uh, bright mannequins like this, but when I'm doing it, I can see the knots and I just don't like it. And then once it's on a human head, it scratches more, so it's not as visible, but I just kind of don't want to have that problem. So, I got it blended throughout. And I'm going to stop the video, guys, but I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm working everybody in a rotation. So, if there's anybody that is on my list and they're supposed to be coming up, if I told you to secure that deposit for you to be to have that space, my advice is you need to get that money in ASAP so the hair can get ordered so that you can be on the list. If not, you're going to get pushed back. Somebody else is going to come in and take that spot. So that's just kind of how the service go. First come, first serve. So, as I always, thank you guys so much for watching A. Marie Full Lace Wigs. God bless, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Now I've washed out the bleaching powder. And I got it pulled down a little farther on the uh, mannequin head. So I kind of watched out the bleaching powder. So she's pulled down more at an angle on this particular head. So now I got to let her dry, totally let her dry. And I can show you guys the final result. But Miss Kathy, your unit is done. When it totally dries, you'll be able to see the beauty in it. But it's wet, and I don't want to comb it when it's wet. But I bleached the front hair lining and, and within the middle because it just seemed like the knots was just sitting right out where you can see it. So now I'm going to put it on a fan and let it dry. And then I'll show you the final shot, and she will be in the mail by Friday. Bye-bye.